You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today we have a new face on Greater Brockton. We have Brian Gott, who is a spokesperson for IKEA. Welcome, Brian. Thanks Thank for coming you. on. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, Brian is new, as I just found out, is new to the area. He came up here from North Carolina, and he has a great event that we want to promote, which is right around the corner. Um, Brian, we'll, we'll talk um, about this event first, and then we'll talk about why it's important to you. Sure, okay. absolutely. So November 1st, which is Saturday, mm -hmm. what's going on? Yeah, well, we're really excited about this. This is a life improvement event for IKEA. IKEA is known as the Life Improvement Store. And um, as the community relations guy for IKEA, you know, one of my jobs is to find, is to help coworkers from IKEA get out in the community and also help products from the store get out in the community and get in people's hands. So we have this battery giveaway. Um, Saturday is uh, the beginning of daylight saving time, mm -hmm. and people are also urged when they change their clocks to change the batteries in their smoke detectors. And that's something that uh, fire safety educators try to encourage people to do every year so that so people can have a safer home life. And um, so one of the things that we've decided to do is give away 9-volt and AA batteries on mm -hmm. Saturday from 9 to 11 at Brockton Fire Station number 6. And it's really exciting. We're going to give away over a thousand uh, batteries, and we're just going to give like people that come up can either pick one nine volt or two AA batteries, and we're going to give away the batteries until our supplies run out. And uh, it's just a great way to get involved in the community, to get our coworkers out in the community, and to um, be a part of the community. So we're hoping that, and we're hoping that we might even save a life over you know over the course of educating people. People become more aware of how important it is to keep their smoke detector batteries changed, mm -hmm. and then you know that it'll work when someone really needs it. And oh. the American Red Cross is going to join us, and the mayor's office has been very supportive, along with the Brockton Fire Department. So it's just going to be a really good event Saturday. Well, we have a wonderful fire department. We do a lot with them. Uh, Jay Miller, who works here, he, mm -hmm. we do behind the scenes with the fire department. We, we, you know, smoke houses, events with kids and everything like that. So right. this is over at fire station number six, it which is. is 560 West Street, which is the one right near Brockton High School. And just in case you don't know, since we have a lot of fire stations. Um, you were telling me a story before we went on air, before we were talking to each other and the cameras were rolling about why this is particularly important to you. Tell yeah. us. Um, you know, a year ago when I was actually in our Charlotte store, we started to work on a fire safety event with the American Red Cross and we did a battery giveaway. And at the time, each store has a safety committee of coworkers that work at IKEA throughout the United States and probably other countries. But, um, one of my roles is to get coworkers involved in some of the things that I do, and I presented to the safety committee. You know, I, we were talking about ways that they could get involved in a community event, and one of the coworkers said they wanted to do a battery giveaway. And you know, smoke detector batteries is such a huge issue, and uh, that got me thinking that you know, when I was a little bit younger, I was in a hotel fire actually, and when I have a twin brother, and when we checked into this hotel, we noticed that there was a smoke detector dangling from the ceiling that was inoperable at the time. And being dumb kids at the time, I think we were in college, but being dumb kids at the time, we thought that was funny. But, you know, six hours later, we, we actually woke up because we heard people screaming in the hotel that had been set on fire by somebody. It was a case of arson and the smoke detector wasn't working and we only woke up because we heard people screaming. So at that point, we could see smoke coming in underneath the door and at that point, smoke detector safety became very important to me as, a, as an individual. Okay, and uh, it sounds like, um, you know, when you're telling me about life improvement events and everything like that, that it, it, like it, it hits home, okay? It's, it's, it's specific. Um, Ikea, as many of you know, it's the big store over in Stoughton, right in neighboring Stoughton. Uh, right. I think we were lucky enough to get an Ikea yeah. in this area because they're not every place. That's right. Um, and not only, they, they have more stuff than you can possibly imagine over there. I'm not gonna get into commercial because we're non-commercial, right. but um, I know different groups and organizations actually have meetings there. You know, that's, I'm glad you mentioned that. We do, uh, we have a community room. It's a, it's a meeting room next to our restaurant. And during non-peak times, we can make that meeting room available for groups that want to hold meetings there. You know, what we do, what I do, is to try and connect IKEA with the community. So anytime a community group 
wants to come in and use our meeting room or wants something that we have in our building as a resource, I'm always up for ideas for future life improvement events and if groups want support. We have on our website, we have a, a grant application form and we're constantly awarding uh, products and you know we're donating products and food and things and getting coworkers involved. So there's a strong connection that we try to have with the community and um, I would encourage anybody to look at our website or to, to contact me directly and my email address is Brian dot got b-r-i-a-n dot g-o-t-t at ikea.com that's brian dot got at ikea.com and i you know i love hearing from people in the community and what their needs are and if there's any way that we can help make people's lives better that's what we're there for uh do you have a phone number is there like a main number over there or or to it, it, it's difficult to give out a phone number because okay. it's everything is so automated but okay. i would look us up through the website or through the email and or through twitter um Follow at Ikea underscore Stoughton on Twitter, and that's a great way to get in touch with us directly. Okay, now you told me originally Ohio, and then North Carolina, you've been there for a while, and how'd you end up in, in, in the Brockton area? Well, I was at Ikea Charlotte, and um, you know I heard that we had an opening in the, the marketing and community relations position, and you know I just have always wanted to live in New England, and I've always, you know, I, Ikea Stoughton is one of the biggest Ikeas in the United States, and it just was a great professional opportunity. And, uh, you know, since I've moved here, of course, everyone's warned me about these brutal winters that are going to be here. But, I mean, I'm up for it. I think it's going to be fun. I like it here. I, people are, have been very friendly and welcoming. And I, it's just been a great four weeks. It's only been four weeks, but I'm, I'm really excited about it. So Now, are you going to be at the event? Absolutely. I'm okay. at all of our community And events. you said associates, you know, different people. How many IKEA people might be We have there? three people who have volunteered from the safety committee. And what happened was I actually presented this to the safety committee, and several people from our internal safety committee actually live in Brockton. Okay. And they're the ones who said, let's do this battery giveaway in Brockton. So we reached out to the fire department and the mayor's office, and next thing you know, here we go. And the rest is history. So... Um, the date of the event is Sunday, November? Saturday. Saturday, sorry. Try that again. Saturday the 1st. Um, I got football on the brain because our high school team is going to the, to, 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 to the uh, playoff game. Uh, 9 to 11 at the West Fire Station, 560 West Street, station number 6. Um, you could get one 9-volt. Right. And two double A's or either or? Well, and or if, you know, okay. if somebody has a smoke detector, either it would take a nine volt or a double A. And, uh, you know, if we have extra supplies, we'll give them out to people. Okay. And if you want more information, anything to do with IKEA, um, dealing with co uh, community relations, it's Brian dot got g o t t at ikea dot com and brian thanks for being on greater brockton thank you so much i appreciate it thank you you're watching greater brockton mark lindy your host stay tuned for more events places people and faces here in the city of champions <laughs>